Hello wonderful people! As you can guess from the uh, name of the video, this is Carl! And Carl is going to be the subject of our video. He likes to uh, have a bit of an abnormal, abnormal rate of fire. Uh, and we have some lovely guinea pigs here to try it out. All these guys against one car mortar, which you know, one shot would probably kill quite a few of them from Carl, but Carl is, as mentioned, and in the title of the video, a bit different. Uh, let's just try it out. So Carl's lining up for the shot. We have this officer here who is rapidly scanning through a wall because he has X ray, uh, X, heck, X way. X-ray vision. Go on, Carl. There's one shot. There's two. He's just dropping them wherever he wants. Oh, straight on top of them as well. He's dropping his heavenly bombs on top. Oh, zoom out. What are you doing, Carl? What are you firing at, Carl? There's nothing there. Okay, that what was that. That watchtower is pissing you off, apparently. Go on, show me who's boss. They're on their way. Lost him, where is he? <laughs> nice group in there. But yeah, just the um, this is Men of War. That's it, Men of War, that's it. No assault squad, no uh no Assault Squad 2 it is the original Men of War that this can be done on. I have tried it on the other games, Assault Squad 2, but for whatever reason, coding, the program, whatever, does not let you do this rapid firing. And it's, well, it's dead easy to do. It's literally just using. Uh, you can literally simplify this to one trigger and one command, uh, which I'll quickly show you how to do straight after this. He's taken out the other tower as well. I presume they're player two, those towers, that's why he's uh, taking them out. Because he's been told to fire at all player twos. Hey, oh, we've got some guys running in. Oh, the camera controls men of what? One so strange. There we go. What's he looking at now? Is this one behind there? Of scouts. Oh no. Engine on fire, that's not good. Vengeance shot. Nearly destroying a tank. That's the end of good old car. Right, I'll show you how you can do this yourself. Right. Let's get rid of Carl, and we'll make a new Carl. Carl V2. Get rid of all that. These two triggers here is literally just the Russians making their move up. So what I've done here is plunked a load of Russians. They're all player two, um, and Carl is going to be a player one. So if you just type in Carl, it's Carl Thor, and place him down, and grab some Germans to operate him, I think it's five of them, make these guys play one, right, it's left click on Man of War 1 to get him in, 
let them climb up there. And you're going to want to give them a tag. Uh, in Men of War 1, it is W, and then down onto tags. And if we give him the tag Carl, because his name is Carl, and not make him move, leave him alone. And then if we add a trigger, Carl Fire. Don't need a condition, we just want the command of actor fire, which is found in actor to fire. Okay, so who do we want to fire? We want Carl, so we literally go on the selector, find the tag, put it as Carl, and we want them to fire at all the enemies that are approaching. So we will go on to the player, which is player 2, they're all player 2 down there. Press OK. Interval, we want a very small interval, so we're going to put 0.1 and we want him to fire until he gets destroyed, so we'll put loads of time on there. When I've been trying to wear this out, I believe that smart, smart is literally how the weapon would reload its normal reload rate, so it would fire, wait until it's reloaded and fire again. That's what smart is. The others um, is like how long the burst is each shot, but because Carl would be deviating, um, it, it doesn't really matter. It, he'll only fire a few before changing, so if you've gone long, it's most likely going to fire a few shots at a time, but not all the time. Um, and they can put it as here, the attack as enemies. Press OK and save it. Hopefully it works, so we've gone through that for no reason. But as I say, this thing does work for other things. In just Man of War, you can use it for all the other artillery. You can use it for, for example, I used to use it for uh, machine guns on a beach where the enemies coming in, like at Omaha sort of map. They're too far away for the machine gun to spot them, so what you can do is literally get them to fire uh, that longer distance, so they're firing into the fog of war, and then you can make them deviate, only fire a few bursts at a time. Um, so that's pretty cool. It just basically ignores, ignores the range, the normal range of the gun. Yeah, and that's it, basically. Really easy, Carl, just focus, mate.